And we said the future of TV is apps. And the response to Apple TV has been incredible. Here is what Chris Albrecht, the CEO of Stars, had to say. TVOS has allowed Stars to create an experience on Apple TV unlike anything we've done before, and our subscribers are loving it. Here's what the CEO of Boombit, a very popular iOS game developer, had to say. We easily extended our iOS game experience to the living room, something that is incredibly difficult to do on traditional consoles. Now, our last generation Apple TV had 80 video channels, and thanks to many of you, we now have over 1,300 video channels. And we have over 6,000 native apps in just seven months. And I've got some new apps to tell you about. First, Sling, which offers a great selection of live cable channels, is coming to Apple TV today. Fox Sports Go, I'm a huge sports fan. Four sports games all at the same time on one screen coming this summer to Apple TV. <laughs> Molotov, a revolutionary new TV service in France with over 100 live channels, video on demand, exclusively on iOS and Apple TV, coming next month. <laughs> Great sports games like NBA 2K, Adventure games like Minecraft Story Mode and Sketch Party. You use your iPhone or iPad to draw and then you sit around the TV to guess. It's a lot of fun to do this with your group of friends. Now, we've got great updates to tell you about for tvOS and let me start with the Apple TV Remote app. Now, Apple TV comes with the incredible Siri remote. It uses touch for navigation, Siri to tell it what you want to watch, and motion to play games. But a lot of our customers have told us that they would love an app on their iPhone that had all those same capabilities. And so we're making a new version of the remote app. This is what it looks like. It's got a beautiful now playing screen with playback controls, but most importantly, all the features of the Siri remote. You have touch for navigation, Siri to give it commands, and it uses the accelerometer and gyroscope to play games. And of course, you can enter text with the keyboard. Next, <laughs> let's talk about Siri. Siri changed the way we interact with our television because now we just tell it what we want to watch. And we're making it even better because now you can search movies by topics. Now, my daughter is actually going to high school this fall. And I remember back when I went to high school, it's been a while, there's some great movies that I'd love to watch with her. And now Siri makes this really easy because I can just say, find high school comedies from the 80s. And sorry, we'll do that one again. Find high school comedies from the 80s. And there are some of my favorites. I actually have watched them all. Let's take a look at Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And with just one tap, we can start watching. Now, Siri actually searches over 650,000 movies and TV shows now. But what about YouTube? Well, that's easy too, because now you just ask Siri. Search YouTube for Steph Curry's three-pointers. <laughs> Siri launches YouTube and shows you the results. But a big part of your TV experience is live channels. And we've got some great channels on Apple TV, like ABC, CBS, FX, and a lot more that give you live channels. But to start watching, you've got to find the app, you've got to launch it, and then you've got to find the channel. Well, we've got a great new feature called Live TuneIn. And all you have to do, watch ESPN2. Take it straight to the action. Go! And this is already working with a lot of great channels, and we're making live tune-in available on both your iPad and Apple TV as well. And one problem with this is, let's be honest, when you go in and you launch a video channel app for the first time, you get something like this. And you've got to go find a browser, authenticate with a code, and then uh, authenticate to your TV provider. Well, we're going to make this change a little bit. But it's worse, because you've got to do it for each and every app. And now, we're going to make it all go away with a feature we call Single Sign-On.
You sign in once on your Apple TV and you get access to all of your network apps. And we make it even better, we, a page on the App Store will show you all of the apps that you now have access to. And of course, we're bringing this to iOS as well. Now, in addition to single sign-on, we've got some other great updates. Now, Apple TV looks beautiful, but there are times where you wish it was darker because you're in a home theater or a dark room, and now that's really easy because you can just switch to dark mode. <laughs> now, we want to make it even easier for customers to get your apps. And so just like when you download an app on your iPhone, it automatically downloads to your Apple TV, it now automatically downloads to your, your Apple TV. And uh, this is really great, and I'm going to show you. So I get the Major League Baseball app on my iPhone, you do nothing, and there it is right on your Apple TV. Now, there's never been a better time for all of you to build apps for the big screen, and we've got some great new features for you as well. First of all, Replay Kit, where you can live broadcast your gameplay or save the video to share it later. We've got Photo Kit, gives you access to your complete iCloud photo library, all the videos, all the photos. And of course, Home Kit, where you can create apps to control all the devices in your, on, at home. And that's just some of the many features. We've got things like support for four game controllers, multiplayer game sessions, and a lot more. And that is a quick update to the tvOS, a new Apple TV remote app, great Siri enhancements with topic search, YouTube, and live tune-in, obviously single sign-on, so now you get access to all your network apps and great tools for developers. And all of you will get a developer preview today. I can't wait to see all of the apps that you start building and our customers will get it this fall, and that is tvOS.